Hi, I'm Dr. Lowell Holtz and I'm a candidate for Wisconsin State Superintendent and I'd like to ask you for your vote on April 4th. Today I want to talk about graduation gaps, achievement gaps, what they are, and is there any correlation to incarceration rates. So let's start with graduation gaps. What that means is how do our minority students, our African American students, compare to the white students when on the graduation rate? Wisconsin has been labeled for two consecutive years as the worst state in the nation. Pick any state you want, we're worse than them. We're the worst state in the nation when it comes to graduation gaps. We're also, for the last two years in a row, have the dubious honor of being the worst state in the nation for achievement gaps. What do we mean by achievement gaps? How do our African American kids score on proficiency exams compared to the white kids on the proficiency exams and why is that gap so large? Personally, I th find it appalling and all in every way against human decency for us to turn our back on our minority students. It's something we need to address, so we need to address it now. I recently was having a debate with uh, my opponent, Dr. Evers, and mentioned that in addition to the achievement gaps and the graduation gaps, Wisconsin now has the dubious honor of having the highest incarceration rates for our minority population. There is a direct correlation there. Dr. Evers seemed a little bit surprised. So what I did is I spent a couple minutes on Google this morning just to find out what's the correlation. Within minutes, I could find articles like criminology, can a lack of education be linked to incarceration? The effect of degree attainment on crime, evidence from a randomized social experiment. The impact of education on crime, international evidence. And education, the secret to crime reduction. I think it's pretty obvious. One is related to the other. There's two ways out of poverty. One is education, the other is crime. If we rob our kids of the opportunity to have a great education and an educational system where they can be successful, where we listen to the people in the community, where we listen to the parents, we listen to the teachers, we can't keep turning our back on generations and thousands and tens of thousands of kids. We need to do a better job and we need to do a better job now.